Morgan. Are you sure you don't want to join us by our fire? There's plenty of room. You'll be so much warmer here. I don't need your cheater fire. I'm a decorated Girl Scout. I know what I'm doing. Suit yourself. This is really nice. Thank you, Mr. Karamne, for sharing your supplies with me. Don't mention it, Catrice. Oh, it's Carissa. Oh, right. Carissa. I'll get it soon, I promise. Come on, light fire. Light, I'm so cold. <sighs> oh, hey, I almost forgot. I was gonna wait till we were back with the others, but since we're here now with a nice fire, may as well start. You're gonna cook those over the fire. Oh yeah. And it's safe to eat. Absolutely. Seriously, you haven't you haven't made a s'more before? We don't really get out much. Okay, well, here, try it out. It's it's super easy. It's basically just stick it over the fire, but not like in the flames or anything, because it's gonna. Carissa, I gotta ask you, what's with all this fear about getting sick? Your poor hands are all dried up from all that hand sanitizer. Well, I have to be really careful. A few years ago, I was diagnosed with cancer, and even though they were able to treat it, the treatments left my immune system really weak, so what might be only a mild cold to you could be really serious for me. My parents don't want me to be so afraid, and they're trying to get me to try new things. That's why I'm on this trip. But I can't help it. I just really don't want to have to go back to the hospital again. I didn't realize that's why you missed so much school when we were younger. We didn't exactly make it that public. Morgan, are you sure you don't want to join us? Why don't you just come sit over here? It's going to be so much warmer. Well, all right. Get over here. Marshmallow? Yeah. You know, Carissa, my tent should be big enough for the two of us. I think we have enough space. Why don't you bunk with me so that Mr. Caramene can doesn't have to sleep under that measly tarp? Why the change of heart? Isn't your stuff just for you? Yeah, well, I don't really want to be on my own anymore. I keep trying to do things by myself to look smart, but it isn't working. I want to be a part of the group. Well, Morgan, you are welcome to be here. Why are you always so keen to be better than everyone else anyways? I'm the youngest of four children, and my siblings are all crazy talented. It's like a constant competition to get attention from our parents or other people. I did well in Girl Scouts. Who cares? Johnny just won first place in his Taekwondo tournament. I aced all my tests. Who cares? Carol just got into med school. It's like nothing I do is ever good enough. Morgan, you don't have to work to impress us here. Just do you. I think you're really awesome. Really? Yeah. I mean, we wouldn't be here without all of your help. And I mean, you've got a lot to give. You just need to see your strength and use it for good and, you know, help somebody now and again. <laughs> hey, is that thunder? Yeah, sounds like it. Man, I hope the others are okay. What are we gonna do if it rains all night? Let me see your tarp. Hey, do you guys think you could do something to help? I'd really rather not. I don't want to get my pants dirty. You have like a bajillion outfits. And I love all of them. Well, you guys could start a fire. <laughs> There's supplies in my backpack. All you would need to do is find some dry firewood. I think you should do it. You know what to look for. Savannah, do you hear that thunder? If we don't get a fire going now, we might not have time before the storm hits. I hear the rain coming. It's too late already. Let's just get in the tent. Oh, oh. come on. It's not even the tent yet. Oh. This is great. This is just great. We're cold. We're wet. We have hardly any food. We're lost in the woods all by ourselves. Why on earth did I listen to you two? Oh, this is the worst. 
Maybe we could blow up my air mattress. And do what with it, Savannah? Sail away? There's no way your king-size air mattress is gonna fit into my little tent. You're right. I didn't really bring anything that would be useful right now. I was the one who didn't listen to the rules about the food. I attracted the bear. I ran in the wrong direction. I was the one who got us separated from Mr. Karamne and the others and brought you both here and talked you into joining me, all for just a cool picture. You both didn't deserve any of this, and here we are, spending the night in a wet tent. I'm... sorry. It was kind of my fault too. I wanted to go to Candy Unicorn Falls and get a cool picture. We should have listened to you when you said to stop and to take a break. I'm sorry. I messed up too. I'm like actually really not perfect, no matter how much I pretend to be. I can't stay mad at you guys. I mean, the thing is, I'm not perfect either. But I mean, even though everyone has sinned, God had a really cool rescue plan. He sent his only son, Jesus, into the world. He was born as a baby, and he lived differently than us in the fact that he grew up, grew up never making any mistakes. He was perfect. And as an adult, he taught people how to love, how to be kind. He did miracles. He healed people. It was really amazing. He built relationships with people, even if they had made so many mistakes themselves. But he knew he was going to be killed. And sure enough, one of his closest friends betrayed him. He had this really crazy mock trial, and they sentenced him to die the most horrific death on the cross. And even though it sounds like a tragedy, and it really was horrible, the Bible says that that was the only thing that could be done to fix our broken relationship with God. And the thing was, three days after Jesus died, he rose from the dead. And that shows us that it worked. That this crazy transaction where we sinned and we deserve death and punishment, that went on Jesus. He took that from us. And Instead, when God looks at us, he sees Jesus' perfection instead. And so we know that if we believe in Jesus, that he lived a perfect life, that he died on the cross, and that he rose three days later, that's it. We get a fresh start. God forgives us. And just like God forgave me, I want to forgive you guys too. With no strings attached? Nope. He would forgive us even though we don't deserve it? Yeah, it's, it's a gift. We don't need to earn it. Wow, that's pretty cool. So we can ask God for forgiveness and he will? Mm -hmm. Do you think he'd get us out of this storm? Well, how about we pray and ask for his help? All right, let's do it. Wow, Morgan, this is really nice. All those years of Girl Scouts really paid off. It feels like we really are camping. Thanks, I'm glad I was able to help. It feels nice to work together. I agree. Yeah, we are together, but I can't help but think about the others again. Uh, I don't think that Natalie... Mickey. Right. I mean, she had a tiny little backpack. I don't think there's a lot of stuff that would be helpful for survival there. And Siobhan... Savannah. Right. Savannah. I mean, her backpack was huge, but I doubt there was any survival supplies in there. I highly doubt it. And the, the other, the third one, uh, Lacey? Lucy! Right, Lucy. I mean, she seemed like she had some experience camping before, but I doubt she packed for this kind of situation, right? <sighs> okay, look, you both are safe here. There's a fire and a dry place to sleep. Honestly, I gotta go back for the others. There won't be time to get back before dark. You should just stay here. It's way too dangerous. Right. I mean, it would be easier to stay, and of course I'd want to, but... No, I have to go back for the lost students. Just hang tight and I'll return as fast as I can. Don't forget the map and the compass. Right, but what will you do? I have my satellite computer. You had a satellite computer this whole time? Why didn't we use it? I didn't want to cheat. Oh, man. Wait, I don't want you to go. I feel safer with you here. Carissa, look. You gotta be brave, okay? God will protect you through all of this. He's taken care of you and us through all of this already, so... Just trust in him, okay? It'll be fine and he'll get us through this. Okay. All right, stay safe, you two. If I'm not back by noon tomorrow, you can go on ahead without me, right? All right. 